Okay, so I was trying to do uh, the project, then I recorded it, and I had some errors, and I'm going to show you here in just a second. If you watch this video on how I do this Access Module 2 SAM project, and you'll see I get an error. Oh, well, let me just show you what happens. So when I go in here, at the end of this project, I submit I get an 89 because I screwed up step 4 on how to send the external data. I want to re-show you, but what happened was when I come back in here and try to do the end of project again, it gives me this error that I didn't submit it right. Do not freak out. I got a hold of SendGage, and it is only instructors this is doing this to. It's not students. If you ever do have a problem with SendGage, this is the number. Tech Support SendGage 800-354-9706. If you will call them, they will help you if you have a problem like this. As long as it isn't, you know, like something I screwed up on my end. But if that would ever happen, you just call Tech Support. They are wonderful great at doing that so anyway I want to go in and show you when you do this assignment I want to fix this so I'm gonna open up my database and you'll watch the video and I go through all this but where I really screwed up was step 4 and in step 4 it tells us export professional staff table as an Excel file without formatting or layout to the same folder in which your database is stored save the export steps so I want to go through this just make sure I do this right so first thing you want to make sure you have professional staff highlight here then you go to external data and you come over here to the export side excel this is all fine where i screwed up i did not check this box so you just leave it default and you got to make sure this is going the same place your database so that one time i did that so you have to go and browse make sure wherever your database lives so i put mine in you'll see in access chapter two and you save this file there so it's got to go to the same place database this has to be checked and then you say okay and what i did is i changed the name of this you know you leave this professional step it's the next step here you save the export steps that you name this export professional staff and they'll put the name in so then all you have to do is save export and this didn't tell me a different name because i already have this in there but it would normally go in there i'll show you don't do this on yours but i'm going to put a one just show when you save and you see that's exactly what should happen yours you should disappear and everything and now you can submit this database for a grade so I apologize about the problems with that. Last night I got pretty frustrated, but I want to put this correction on there and then now go ahead and watch the rest of the video and I go through and show you how to do the project.